everyone. This is going to be our um, section of videos that's going to cover the accounting cycle. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you check out my website at www.theaccountingdoctor.com. And I have other great tools that might uh, be beneficial to you there. So let's go ahead and start talking about the accounting cycle. Just remember the accounting cycle encompasses many, many steps. And we're going to go through every one of those in this section of videos. But it's basically a process where we end up analyzing transactions that happen. We're going to journalize those transactions. And ultimately, we're going to summarize everything that happens to our business into financial statements and get those out to the users of those financial statements. So let's look at the nine steps. So step one, we're actually going to confirm that a transaction has actually happened. And then we'll take that transaction, analyze the transaction, find out is, are, is there an asset affected or liability affected, and then we'll journalize the transaction. Then we'll post that transaction to the ledger. And then from there, we'll prepare the unadjusted trial balance. Then from there, we'll make sure that our um, debit account balances equal our credit account balances. And then we'll prepare our adjusted journal entries or our adjusting journal entries. And then our adjusted trial balance to again ensure that once we've made our adjusting entries, our account still balance, debit still equal credits. And then from there, we'll prepare our financial statements. After we prepare the financial statements, we'll close out any temporary or nominal accounts. And then from there, we'll prepare our post-closing trial balance once again to ensure that our debit accounts all equal our credit accounts. So before moving any further, let's uh, just talk about some basic terminology. So the first term I'd like for us to talk about is event. Event is basically the source or cause of changes in your assets, your liabilities, and your equity. And this can be internal events, so something that just happens within the company, or it can be an ed external event, some outside force that's causing a change in your company. A transaction is an external event that involves a transfer or exchange between two or more entities. An account is where information about a specific asset, liability, revenue, expense, etc. is housed. And we'll talk about that here in just a second, a little bit more in depth. A real account is a permanent account that is not closed at the end of the period. For example, your balance sheet account, so your assets, your liabilities. Nominal accounts is a temporary account that is closed at the end of the period. That would be your income statement account, so your revenues and your expenses as well as dividends are closed at the end as well. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Ledger is where the accounts, the T accounts, are housed and where posting occurs. The journal is where, you, where your journal entries are journalized. Posting, so after you journalized your transactions, they are then posted to the accounts in the ledger and that's called posting. The trial balance is used to ensure that the total of the ending balances of all the accounts that have debit balances equal that of all the accounts with credit balances. So in other words, you take all the accounts that have debit balances and add those up, and you would take the accounts with credit balances, add all those up, and those two numbers should equal. And adjusting entries are used to get your books back up to where they need to be under accrual accounting. So to ensure that expenses match the revenues those expenses created, and also to ensure that deferrals and accruals are accurately represented on your financial statements. And financial statements are used to present financial information to the stakeholders. And finally, closing entries, they're used to close out the nominal or temporary accounts at the end of the period to get the books ready for a new year. So let's talk about an account. An account is an arrangement that shows the effect of transactions on an account. And you've seen that before. This is also a T account. Um, but the left side of your T account is your debit side. The right side is the credit side. Remember, it doesn't matter what type of account it is. If it's an asset, if it's a liability, if it's an owner's equity account, it doesn't matter. The left side is always the debit. The right side is always the credit. So let's look at an example of what this look like if we actually put some numbers on it. So here we have three transactions that have happened to this particular account, whatever the account is. Transaction number one, two, and three. 
So we can see here in this case that 10,000 plus 8,000 is more than 3,000. It actually leaves us with what we call a debit balance because the debit side is $15,000 higher than the credit side. So therefore we call this a debit balance. If the reverse of that had happened, and we had had 8,000 and 3,000 on the credit side and 10,000 on the debit side, we would now say that we have a $1,000 credit balance.